morning guys, we're going to training camp today. It's so early, I'm so tired. Good morning. Hi, are you ready to go? We're leaving early. Camp is about to start soon. So everyone's just setting up. We had to get here early because traffic is horrendous. But the good thing is, is we could sit anywhere we wanted because we're that early, which is only about like 30 minutes, but still <laughs> it's gonna fill up really soon. If you guys saw me talking on Instagram about like what you should bring and where to go for training camp, this is where I was talking about why you needed a blanket and sunscreen and toys because that is where pretty much everyone sits up there. Also, can we talk about the humidity and the fact that I took the time to do my hair this morning and it's dead. Oh well. <laughs> no point in straighten. You guys, this is Amber, like I said earlier. We will, thank you. She's the one whose wedding we went to the other day. Oh yeah. Ew. He dropped his bottle. And everyone had so much nice things to say about y'all in your wedding. Oh yay! So this is the blushing bride. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, 24 days in. 24 days, that's yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's coming. Look up, baby. You wanna get out? I thought it was a corn dog and it ended up being a pancake on a stick, so now I have all this ketchup with nothing to put on it. He doesn't see you yet. <laughs> he doesn't see you yet. <laughs> that drink's too good. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I bought Bash a new sippy cup. This is a Nook sippy cup. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'll try to link this below if you're interested in having it, but it has a straw and he seems to be doing really well with it. So hopefully this will be good for us. The humidity <laughs> completely ruined my hair today. So there's that. At least Bash hair is still on today. His hair is on fleek. <laughs> Do people still say fleek? No. <laughs> So practice just ended and they're taking everybody who was sitting in here with us down to the field. You can actually see them, they're all standing right here, down on the field to get autographs. But I didn't really want one, so we're just gonna chill up here and then we're gonna get ready to go. Oh, good thing it's over, it's nap time. Okay. I just put him down in his crib. Hopefully he can get comfortable and take a good nap. We are both hot, sweaty, and disgusting right now. I look like some kind of wet, soggy animal. But anyway, once he gets up, we need to go to uh, the dollar store so I can get some stuff for his birthday party. And I'll tell you guys more about that later. Okay, so it's been a couple hours since we've been on here. Bash took a very long nap and I actually laid back down. I am exhausted. Training camp takes a lot out of you, even though we just sat there, just being out there in the heat. Ooh, does something to you. Mmm. So today for Bash's lunch, he's having Carrots, green beans, and chicken. And for those of y'all who are still asking, um, I get questions still about his bibs. They're by the Sunny Palm, and I will link it below. While Bash eats, I'm going to just eat a turkey wrap. It's turkey and Swiss, and drink one of these. These are amazing, you guys. I love these. Hopefully it'll focus, there we go. This is the blood orange flavor. I usually just get the plain orange, but blood orange may be my new favorite thing. Pretty much mixes with anything, but I just like to drink it by itself. And here it is, and it's fantastic. So we need some poster board. And we need masking tape. The store is a mess. 
so we're in Michael's now. We just left the dollar store. I had to get a couple bits of poster boards and I totally forgot how much home decor they sell. I always thought this was just a craft store. This is perfect. There are 70% off of cactuses. Oh, is that your daddy home? Are you so excited? Are you so happy? Why do you never have your clothes on when I'm vlogging? Like your shirt is always off. Good okay. gracious, no one wants to see that. Or maybe they do, there you go ladies. So I know I've been talking about Bash's party for a while, but I haven't discussed what it is, so I'm gonna show you guys now. It is a Fiesta theme and I'm so excited. I have a bunch of stuff on its way to our house and I just wanted it to look nice. I didn't want it to look cheesy, so I found like some inspiration from Pinterest and I found these cactuses that I showed you at the store and these are going to be on either the big table that has like the cake and all of that on it, and then like little ones for other parts of decoration. And then I'm making a pin the tail on the donkey because I mean you have to kind of play that if it's a fiesta. And so these are gonna be the tails. And I got different color pipe cleaners so that everyone can play, including the adults and the children. These are just bubbles for one of the activities I have planned for all the kids to play. This is the last thing. Oh, that's for a chalkboard sign I'm doing. This is a cake topper. I'm going to attempt to just do his smash cake myself. I'm gonna try it today. And if it looks right, then I may just go ahead and make it for the party. And if it looks really, really good, I may just go ahead and make his big cake as well. And if not, my mom will order the big cake for us. So I'm just going to quickly whip this cake up and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I just put the cakes in the oven and I am standing here almost in tears. World News Tonight is on and there was a story just now about how a woman's baby choked on a chicken nugget in the mall and she was trying to get the, the nugget out by hitting the baby on the back and couldn't get it out and the baby was starting to choke to death and two cops happened to be there and the officer like basically took the baby from her and she the mother said she instantly trusted him and he flipped her and did all the things he was supposed to do and got the nugget out after two attempts that had failed and she lived and i was just standing there like praise jesus thank you god that they were there at that time because i could not imagine my eyes started filling with tears because that is a fear like no mother ever should go through the thought of potentially losing your baby and it was a 14 month old in a chicken nugget so praise jesus that that baby lived and thank god that those cops were there so the cake is still in process. We are on our way to go pick up some dinner, but we're gonna eat at home. We're just gonna go pick it up. I feel like I'm yelling over the, <laughs> there we go. So the cakes are done. I attempted to level them and I should have just bought a cake leveler instead of using a knife. I don't know, I kind of took a chunk out of the side of one of them. They look really good. We'll see how it goes. Once they're all cooled off, I am going to freeze them. This is the recipe that I was given to help ice cakes, and they say that bakers usually freeze cakes before they ice them to make it easier, so I'm gonna do that, which means there's a good chance that I will not finish the cakes tonight. We'll see. So here's my dinner. It's a crab and salmon burger, and it looks delicious. This is like the sorriest piece of lettuce I've ever seen, but anyway, I'm gonna finish like fixing it up and assembling it. These are the cakes that are about to go into the freezer. As you can see, I took a corner off of it accidentally or like an edge off so hopefully I can fix that but um, they're gonna go into the freezer and I was told that freezing them makes them a lot easier to ice so we'll probably revisit this tomorrow morning and yeah I'm really excited and more than likely we are going to get Brandon caught up on Handmaid's Tale I finished it the other day without him because he hasn't been home I watched four or five episodes in a row I'm not even kidding when I finished I literally had a migraine and I'm not kidding oh, I think my blood pressure was up I was literally shaking when I was watching it and if you've seen this show then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, everyone always asks me, like, what's it about? Just Google it, because it's way too hard for me to explain, but just be prepared, because it's an emotional roller coaster. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, and I completely crashed last night. I didn't even, like, close it for the evening to say I'll see you tomorrow. Brennan and I had the TV on, and we both fell asleep pretty fast after that. I 
fell on sleep on top of the bed and like not even in the sheets under the cover so <laughs> that just shows you how sleepy we were but anyway now that it is the next day it is a lot later in the day it's almost five o'clock I'm going to finish the cake or at least attempt to so I'm about to take my um, cake out of the freezer now I have not touched it since I put it in there yesterday so you guys are gonna see this as it happens hopefully it turns out well if not I will be ordering cake tomorrow for Bash's party and that'll just be that and let's see how it goes so what I've been told is that this layer is actually called the crumb layer and that it's supposed to be a thin layer just to catch the crumbs and then you go in and ice it over again um, after this one has been smoothed out and I actually forgot I have a smoothing thing so I'm going to attempt to use this in a minute I'm not a baker, but for someone who doesn't know what they're doing, I think this turned out great. I just need to figure out what to do on the sides. I've been standing here staring at this cake for the last five minutes. I am, I'm honestly very impressed with myself because this is not who I am in the kitchen. So this is exciting. And now I'm just trying to like stop myself from eating it. I do want to taste it really bad. So now I'm sitting down here on the floor because I'm going to work on Bash's chalkboard sign. It's going to be the welcome sign. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get some inspiration off of Pinterest and um, go from there. I am not a calligrapher, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. But you can watch me try, and if not, I'll have to get some stencils. But either way, he's going to have a chalkboard sign. on the sign my battery died I just put the other battery in say hi baby Brennan accidentally woke him up so <laughs> anyway he's about to have some dinner and I'm gonna show you how far I've gotten on the sign and this is it I am done I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to add anything here or here maybe I'm not sure I may just leave it because it looks fine just as it is but I'm pleased Okay guys, well I am exhausted. That sign was really hard, but it turned out really cute. As I work on more things for his party, I'll try to throw them in my vlogs leading up to his birthday party, just to give you guys a clue about what we're doing, and then you guys will obviously see the party. I'm not sure how I'm gonna film his birthday yet. I don't know if I'm just going to set it all to music and let you guys watch the party so that way I can be in the moment, or if I'm gonna vlog it like I vlog this way, or if I'm gonna give my camera to someone and let them do it for me. I'm not quite sure, but I'm definitely going to show it to you guys because I know you all have been asking about it and wondering, you know, what it's gonna look like, but I will show you guys as we get it going. And I'm so excited, there's birthday stuff over here, and there's more down here, and just getting ready. It's really coming up fast. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I also ask that y'all share my channel with your friends. If they don't watch vlogs, introduce them to my channel. Tell them to let me know that you sent them in the comments. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.